Next to agriculture, thanks to Kenya's rich wildlife, sandy beaches and favorable tropical weather, tourism is the next industry that rakes in billions in revenue for the country. However, just like agriculture, the industry plummeted to its all-time low in 2008 after the post-election violence took the country by surprise. Fast forward to 2009, one year later after the chaos, and industry players do not have much to show for tourism arrivals numbers remained at all order. 2008 was affected by this post-poll chaos, so we suffered uh, quite a bit at that time. Um, because, of course, tourism numbers dropped very soon after the first month. The first month was good, first month of January was good. After that, everything dropped. And we haven't recovered again because in 2009 we had the economic recession. The charter flights, we still have a deficit. Uh, post uh, pre-elections, pre we had uh, uh, around 35 charters flying in, especially through the Moi International Airport. Up to now, we have 25 to 27 uh, charters coming. So the charter business hasn't picked up as it was pre-elections. In an industry touted to support 500,000 Kenyans directly and 1 million Kenyans indirectly, the economic pinch from the chaos for some still feels too much to take in. The numbers haven't come back as they were before. Initial, well, years back, uh, February was high season. Right now, we're treating it almost as low season by the rates that we are charging. Then came the unanticipated credit crunch that exacerbated an already bad situation into a worse one. According to the Ministry of Tourism, tourism revenues reduced from 62.5 million shillings in 2007 to 52.7 million shillings in 2008. 2008 also saw the number of tourists drop to 1.2 million from 1.5 million. Last year, hotels, lodges and other stakeholders had to share close to 700,000 tourists. Kenya's last year's drought, believed to be one of its worst yet, then threatened the very existence of one of Kenya's greatest tourism attractions, wildlife. However, despite the above factors, industry players remain optimistic. Some of the biggest indicators are countries which, which, had, uh, which we had lost uh, during the post-election chaos. We find Germany, Italy, US, UK, uh, France, we are doing maybe 75 to 80 percent of the figures we had uh, in, uh, in 2000 and, uh, 2007. Yeah, I heard there had been some chaos in 2008, not, not too long ago. I wasn't concerned. I knew that it's peaceful now, and um, I looked into it and saw that things have returned to normal, so I would recommend for anybody to come visit. I certainly would like to come back to Kenya and see some other national park, experience more of the country and see more animals. Tourism is one of Kenya's greatest contributors to the GDP. It is also one of the industries that was most adversely affected by the 2008 post-election violence. And last year's credit crunch didn't do much for it either. It is against this backdrop that players in the industry hope that the slumber that came with these two factors will be over sooner rather than later. Esther Kello, KTN, Adama Saimara.